This conference will now be recorded. Uh, good evening, everyone. The time is now 7.30 p.m. This is the May 27th work session of the Allendale Mayor and Council. Uh, welcome to everyone who is joining us via video and teleconference. We ask that you please mute your devices at this time so as not to distract from the business of the meeting. There'll be several opportunities for the public to be heard tonight, and we will advise you at the appropriate times. Michelle, please read the Open Public Meeting Act announcement. Sure. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, the notice requirements have been satisfied. The meeting dates for the year are confirmed at the annual meeting, are posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building and on the borough website, published in the record within the first 10 days of the new year, and copies are sent to the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger. Great. Thank you. Michelle, please conduct the roll call. Councilwoman Holman? Here. Councilman O'Connell? Here. Councilman O'Toole? Here. Councilman Sasso? Here. Councilman Strouch? Is absent. Councilwoman Wilsinski? Here. And Mayor Bernstein? Here. Thank you. Just going to flip the agenda a little bit. It's, it's um, at least the highlight of the work session. Um, and I'm going to read the proclamation for the LGBTQ uh, Pride Month. Uh, June 2021, as we have done for, for, for many years. Um, as we head into June, I will read a proclamation recognizing June 2021 as LGBTQ Pride Month in the borough of Allendale. Um, the Democratic Club of Allendale will also be tying ribbons around the light posts downtown as well. And this is one of the many reasons why Allendale is a special borough, a uh, special a town and making sure that all of our residents are recognized and celebrated. So I would like to uh, read um, the proclamation. Ceremonial proclamation for LGBTQ Pride Month. Whereas on June 28, 1969, at the Stonewall Inn in New York City, a courageous group of citizens resisted harassment and maltreatment, setting in motion a series of demonstrations which became known as the Stonewall Uprising and are widely considered to constitute the most important events leading to the gay liberation movement and the modern fight for LGBTQ rights in America. And whereas the LGBTQ rights movement has realized much progress, there is more work to be done. As long as the promise of equality for all remains unfulfilled, all Americans are affected. We can work together to advance the principles upon which our nation was founded. Every American will benefit. Whereas all people deserve to live with dignity and respect, free from fear and violence, and be protected against discrimination, regardless of their gender identity or sexual orientation. During LGBTQ Pride Month, we celebrate the proud legacy LGBTQ individuals have woven into the fabric of our nation. We honor those who have fought to perfect our union, and we continue our work to build a society where every child grows up knowing that their country supports them, is proud of them, and has a place for them exactly as they are. And whereas Allendale promotes a proud, stigma-free community, accepting people from all walks of life, now, therefore, we, the mayor and council of the borough of Allendale, New Jersey, do hereby proclaim June 2021 as LGBTQ Pride Month in the borough of Allendale. So I, as we did in the past, we do it again, and I know I speak for the, the whole mayor and council. So thank you very much. Um, next, we will be uh, open the meeting to the public. This is one of three opportunities to be heard uh, once in the work session, twice in the regular session. Anyone from the public wish to be heard? Hi, Linda. If you can un unmute yourself and state your, your name and address for the record. Hi, Linda Fisher. My address is 102 West Crescent Avenue, Allendale. And I just want to make a statement saying thank you so much for allowing the Democratic Club to tie ribbons. I really appreciate it. And reading the proclamation and 
I think it really means a lot, especially to young people in our community who may be struggling. Um, so thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, we would like to, as the Democratic Club, just make sure that those people recognize that we support them. Agreed. And, and, and we, we are all in, in agreement on that. I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate your you emailed myself um, and other council members. And I'm glad that um, we're, we're, we, it's a big tent. There's room for all of us. And, and, and we want to make sure we're doing our part. Yeah, we Thank can work together, right, to support them. That's right. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Good. Anyone else from the public wish to be heard? Hi, this is um, Natalie Katoni Sadi from 16 Heights Road. Um, the last time I was on, it was about a month ago, I was asking about the grandstand. And somebody had said that they were taking care of the. Um, the uh, spray paint that had been done years, literally years ago, and um, still it's there. I was there the other day and it's still there. So I was wondering when, what is the timeline for this? Because the grandstand is number one, filthy. Um, I'm sorry, but it is. Um, I've been sitting there for years with my kids. Um, number two, there's the obscene pictures that have been spray painted on the back of it. Uh, it's been there for years, literally. And, um, you know, it, it could use a painting. So I'm just wondering what the plan is and what your timeline is. Sure, great. Ron, do you want to speak to that? Ron Kirsten, the Director of Operations. I had Dan Davis over there. It's not uh, paint. It's actually like silly, silly string or something that's stuck on there. So we have the power wash. Everybody's just been busy getting other things done in town. And uh, it's on the list. And uh, it's done. We did try cleaning it, but it's not. It's, it's material that needs to be, uh, you know, if power wash is going to work. Okay. Um, and we'll get it done. Okay, great. Thank you. So, 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 so Natalie, th th thank you for, thank you for raising it. It's um, director of operations. He can move mountains. He's, uh, he, he does an amazing job keeping Allendale beautiful. It's on the list. I know, you know we have Memorial Day. We have Crestwood Lake. We have the other field. So I know it's, a, it's an eyesore to you, but you have our word. We will address it ASAP. Right. I just I just want to point out that what I understand and thank you. It does look like it's silly string, whatever it is. But just so everybody knows, it's male genitalia and it's been there for literally years. When I tell you it's been years. Last year we didn't have July 4th. I can remember July consecutive July 4th, it's been there. It's not just an eyesore to me. Um, children have pointed it out, other parents notice it. It can use a painting. The grandstand is in my opinion, in the shambles, I have pictures of it. There's um, chipping paint everywhere. I don't think it just needs a power washing. I, I appreciate your professional opinion, but um, uh, there are uh, bugs, like wasp nests up there, it looks like, or some kind of nest. So um, I, I'm, I'm happy it's on a list, but it has been literally yeah years and, and your comments are on the record they're duly noted so I, I appreciate you reaching out again thank you um, anyone else from the public wish to be heard uh, looks like Ben Peer Peer yeah oh, great so Ben yeah. if, you, if you can state your name and address for the record that would be helpful hi my name is Ben Peer my address is 477 Hillside Avenue, and I've been to a meeting already once before, and I'm a Boy Scout here in Allendale, and the reason why I am joining tonight is because I am currently working on my citizenship in the community, community oh, merit badge. Wonderful. And this is one of my requirements that I'm currently working on right now. I've already got I'm a life scout right now, and and I'm going to be an Eagle Scout eventually. And 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 that's great. I mean, we are all we have some some parents, some council members who are parents of Eagle Scouts. There's the ceremony coming up, I think, on June 13th, where there's going to be two groups of the Eagle Scouts. I commend you. I mean, I every year I stand in awe. Sometimes I present. Um, uh, certificates on behalf of, of the borough. Sometimes other council members do. I stand in awe of what you what you all go through. So your name and address, it's duly noted here in the record. You were here. You, you can check that box. And um, if you Thank need, you. and if you ever need, if you need to do something for your project, um, 
right? There's a councilwoman here, perhaps two councilwomen here, who would love to, to give you ideas for a project. So you can uh, you can call in, or you can send an email into the borough, and if you're looking for ideas how to beautify Allendale and and um, and get closer to your your eagle, they can certainly help you. Thank you. Thank you. I will. Great. Thank you so much. Good. You're welcome. Anyone, anyone else from the public wish to be heard at this time? Mike, there's Mike O'Reilly. Hi, Mike. Hi, sir. Hi, hi, Mayor, Council, Mike O'Reilly, 85 Elmwood Avenue. And I just wanted to say uh, thank you uh, for the pro proclamation that you read and have read the last few years. Uh, and I want to say thank you and I appreciate you uh, willing uh, to let the uh, Democratic Club put up the ribbons as, as a symbol in town. And uh, I really do, do believe that's one of the things that makes Allendale special. And I just wanted to say thank you uh, to you and the council. Mike, thank you. And 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 I appreciate, we appreciate what, what, what you're doing, um, what Linda, what the DCA is gonna be doing. We're, this is all for Allendale. And this is, this is what makes Allendale a great place. And um, we, I'm not patting us on the back. I'm just acknowledging that, you know, for the right things, we come, we come together and work together. So th thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else um, from the public wish to be heard? Hi, uh, this is Natalie again from 16 Heights Road. Congratulations, Ben, on your achievements with um, the Boy Scouts. That, that's wonderful. I, I think it's great. Um, so I was also wanted to ask if my email had been received. The last time I had been here, it was April 29th, and I sent an email then and also um, May 18th about if, um, I, I forget her, I think Michelle Ryan, if she was able to find out from the Bergen County Board of Elections um, who is the manufacturer of our voting machines. Okay. Sure, sure, Michelle. Um, I didn't see your emails come in, but um, if, uh, if you want to forward them, my uh, email is Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Ryan, R-Y-A-N at allendalenj.gov, or you can feel free to call me. I'm extension 216. Uh, I'll be in at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I, the voting machines are here, so um, I can go look. I can go look. Yeah, I, I think that it's very important considering there is a lot going on in the country right now related to the voting machines, and we have a primary coming up. Um, I It is very important to me. I know it's important to other um, voters in Allendale as well. And um, I will forward that to you. There were two emails that I sent. Um, and I'd really like to know that, um, you know, as soon as you can find Great. out. Great. And so, so um, Natalie, good. So you'll send your emails in. Michelle will have your contact information. And then tomorrow yeah. when we get, Ron will get it tonight and we'll email you the information. And Natalie, can I ask you to please send me an email too about the grandstand just so I have it and so I don't, so I don't, um, the uh, yeah, can you give me your email? Actually, Al has it. Al has my email with uh, from the band. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to send it. My, right to speak. Okay, it's it's my name, Amy Wilzinski at allendalenj.gov. Can you see? Can you see the spelling? Yeah, I'll I'll put it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Anyone else from the public? So if there are three times we open it to the public. Anyone else from the public at this time? Mr. O'Keefe. You're raising your hand. So uh, unmute yourself, give us your name and address, and three minutes, the floor is yours. I can't hear you, sir. Wait, I can't hear you. It shows green that you're unmuted, but I can't hear you. No. Okay, so it, 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 we'll have two other times. So if you can get it to work out, we'll we'll let you speak then. Okay. Great. Any, when, anyone else from the public wish to be heard at this time? Okay, not seeing any, we'll close the meeting to the public for this time, but there are two other opportunities. Um, we move to agenda review. We have a relatively light uh, regular session agenda. We will be approving um, several sets of minutes um, during the regular session, February 11th, 2021 work session, February 20, 11, 2021 regular session, February 11, closed session, uh, March 3, 3rd special session, March 11, regular work session, and March 11, regular session. And um, the February 11th, 2021 work session meeting minutes 
will be amended as requested by Councilwoman Holman. There's a, a slight modification she wanted. So we're going to, when we approve them, we will approve them as amended. Um, we'll have our second reading and public hearing for ordinance 21-08, prohibiting the operation of cannabis business in the borough. Ray, um, anything you wanna to speak to that? No, just uh, as, as was mentioned last time at introduction, this was a resolution that was circulated by the New Jersey League of Municipalities to all municipalities urging that whatever regulations had previously been adopted be rescinded pending the seating, which has now taken place of the commission that was impaneled by the governor and they're passing regulations. Uh, this way, everyone would understand in either adopting or readopting their ordinances exactly what the lay of the land was from Trent. Right, thank you. And I know we discussed that two weeks ago when um, the first reading. We have five resolutions on the consent agenda for approval. Um, over uh, 21-152, authorize a refund of a water overpayment. This is a routine resolution to refund an overpayment of a water bill. Uh, 21-153, amend the 2021 Crestwood Lake fees um, in appreciation of their hard work and dedication to the borough, especially, especially this past year. The governing body is happy to offer a free family membership to all current year-round employees of the borough. Any employees wishing to register should contact Michelle to get the details. Amy, do you want to speak to that? Is there anything you want to add to that? No, I just wanted to um, just extend the whole borough our thanks to all the work that they've been doing. Um, Crestwood Lake is a beautiful gem, and I know a lot of the uh, employees don't necessarily live in, near Allendale, but I want them to feel completely comfortable to enjoy the lake with their kids or grandkids, um, you know, anytime, you know, during the year. So we're really happy to extend this to them and grateful for all the work they've done for us. Agreed, I couldn't have said it better, thank you. 21-154, appoint uh, Brian O'Connor as DPW seasonal employee. Uh, the borough is excited, truly excited to have Brian O'Connor returning to help us this summer in our parks. Brian has done an outstanding job for us the past few seasons, assisting Rich McDowell. We're happy to have him back this year. 21-155, approve the contract, the annual reassessment program um, for BBG Eisenberg Appraisal Associates. As many of you know, the borough contracted with Associated Appraisal Group in October to conduct a reassessment program. And tonight we'll be approving BBG slash Eisenberg Appraisal Associates to assess commercial properties. Uh, thank you to our tax assessor, Angela Matisse and CFO, Lisa Mayer for working on this. 21-156 is to approve the May 27, 2021 bill list. I reviewed it, Matt, Amy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. 21-157 uh, um, to authorize ribbon hanging in recognition of Pride Month, the Demo Democratic Committee of Allendale. As I mentioned before, um, the Democratic Committee of Allendale will be tying rainbow ribbons around the lamppost in our downtown in recognition of Pride Month. And this is a resolution that authorizes that. So we have some time, um, seven that, uh, 7.49. So let's do some reports. I'm gonna give mine first, get that out of the way. I won't be long and then we'll go through the uh, committee, the council people. Um, as the beginning of the summer approaches, I'm very excited to share some positive news. As you all know, Crestwood Lake opens on Saturday, May 29th. If you have not, I'm sure Amy's gonna be speaking to that and, and certainly she's been, she and the rest of the committee have been working hard. Um, so thank you. I want to thank um, Councilwoman uh, Wazinski and Holman and our facilities committee, Ron Kistner and the DPW, uh, Manager Tom Viscardi and the Lake staff, the Board of Health, OEM, Public Safety, the Construction part, uh, Department, Tatiana Marquis and John Gill for your collaboration and tireless efforts to get the lake ready. They say it takes the village. It looks like in this case it did. Um, 21 is going to be a great summer. I know Amy's going to speak to it and, and well she should. Um, Monday is Allendale Memorial Day. Um, it, what's Memorial Day and it will be our Allendale Memorial Day ceremony being held on Memorial Day, Monday, May 31st at 11 a.m. at Memorial Park. Um, we had discussed with OEM for several months as to what we could do, what made sense under, under the circumstances. This, um, this will be an in-person ceremony and we will also be live streaming it on our Facebook page and we'll post a video on of the ceremony for viewing later. Um, we could not 
uh, a parade didn't make sense and it still doesn't make sense. So there will be no parade next year, hopefully, but there will be um, what will be an important ceremony. Uh, thank you to the committee led by our OEM director officer, Mike Dillon, for his hard work in organizing this opportunity for our community to remember and honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. And after the Pledge of Allegiance, we're going to take a moment of silence in their memory. So when we get to the regular session and we do the pledge, if you could please join me for a moment of silence for them. I'm very happy to report that our COVID numbers are on the decline here in Allendale and all over Bergen County. This is due to the vigilance over the last year. Allendale, our numbers were, as you know, were, were low. We were uh, under the average, and I think that was largely due to, to the diligence. Wearing masks, washing hands, and, and getting vaccinated has led us to where we are here. Um, we've been, we talked about the light at the end of the tunnel, and it looks like we're getting very close to it. As announced by the governor, effective tomorrow, um, Friday, May 28th, the indoor mask mandate in public spaces will be lifted, as well as the six-foot social distancing requirement in both indoor and outdoor spaces, the prohibition on dance floors at bars and restaurants, the prohibition on ordering and eating and drinking while standing at bars and restaurants. Additionally, effective Friday, June 4th, indoor gathering and capacity limits will be lifted. This is all very good news. It's something that didn't we weren't sure when that was going to happen, right? We've been through this for over a year. Um, a lot is changing, continues to change. Please stay up to date um, by the covid19.nj.gov website and the borough's COVID information hub at our website, allendalenj.gov. Um, last weekend was a very busy one here in Allendale. I want to recognize the hard work of the Allendale Garden Club on its annual plant sale. Sale. It was great to see everyone when I stopped by. Um, they said that their numbers were great, that I think they were the best that they had ever been. I want to thank them for their continued efforts to keep our borough looking green and beautiful. We also held our annual shredding day, which was a huge success at the Red Barn. There was a steady stream of cars for the entire four hours, dropping off paper to be recycled. And thank you to John Gill for assisting the residents. And quite uh, a lot of residents also stopped by our mobile clerk's office down by Crestwood Lake on Saturday to take the opportunity to license their pets, purchase compost permits, and register for the lake. It's part of our continuing effort to deliver services to our residents, and we hope to continue offering this going forward. Um, and everyone, um, stay stay safe this holiday weekend. I hope to see you at the Memorial Day ceremony. So we still have some time for committee reports. Uh, Councilman O'Connell, would you like to give your, your report? Yes, thank you, Mayor. Certainly. Um, cool. Can you hear me? Yes, yep, loud and clear. Perfect. Calls into the borough uh, headquarters, 5,607 911 calls are 746. Fire department calls are 69, and AVAC calls are uh, 119. Uh, you mentioned Memorial Day. I'd just like to thank everyone involved for making that happen. Um, on OEM, we have suspended meetings so far. We will kick them up again as needed. But after 16 months of having monthly to bi-weekly to weekly meetings, um, hopefully the end is near. Uh, we continue to work with the holiday observers on the 4th of July, and we have a public safety meeting on June 1st. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Hey, Councilman O'Connell, thank you. Thank you for your report and all your work. Councilman Sasso, would you like to would you like to give your report? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Can you hear me okay? Yep, we can hear you perfectly. All right, I'm sorry. I'm having webcam problems. I don't know why, but I'll figure that out later for the next meeting. So the Land Use Committee has not met since our last council meeting. Uh, we met actually, uh, I think, the day before. But Councilman Strouch, who's not on tonight, I don't think, um, he and I had lunch the next day, which we discussed a few things, including noise pollution in town and um, an issue which has come up, which I've talked about before, um, rat poison bait traps which has become an issue and is actually going to be on the next uh board of health agenda i believe so uh that's all i have for tonight great thank you very much and thank you for all your work um uh we have five minutes so um councilwoman holman you're normally next do you want to go now um sure okay great 
Hi, everybody. Uh, the first thing that I feel like I'd like to have the opportunity to do since I was um, at a uh, fundraiser last meeting was I do want to thank Amy Wolzinski for all the work that she has done leading the team for the 220, 230 team. Um, as I know you talked about, and Ari, I know you had lots of good things to say, so I'll keep it short, but she really worked tirelessly to make that sale of 230 come to fruition. Leading, you know, everybody on the team did a lot of work, but Amy really just did a phenomenal job of, of pulling us together to surmount some real challenges. And, you know, I just, I felt that it was so important to have it on the record for me just to say, thank you. Thank you for having me on the team. And um, thank you, Amy, for all the leadership that you showed with that. Um, on the waterfront, uh, we had our fourth uh, virtual Allendale water meeting um, since the uh, last council meeting I was at. It was a update on where we were with the Allendale water, um, in particular the RFB that went out for the possible sale of our water system. And uh, thank you to everybody that attended the Allendale water meeting. The All of the virtual meetings are posted online. The fourth one is a huge file, so I've had trouble getting it off of my computer, but they will all be up there. And I encourage anybody in the public that has not attended the Allendale water meetings that they do. Um, there are, are three of them up now. The third one is one that probably has the most up-to-date information and the first two are backgrounds. Um, but at this point, you know, we do the bids, the RFPs, Bs will, are required to be in tomorrow. There will be a public opening. And at this time, I wanna thank all of our committee members for all of the work that they did to make this RFB come together because since if we receive um, any responses that Allendale uh, Water Committee and the council and the mayor feel are worth pursuing, they the, the um, actual bids and the decision would be made at the general election. So that really made the timeline pretty condensed and everybody on the team pulled together a lot of information. I mean, Mike Vreeland, our borough engineer, and Lane Simon, who um, works on Ron Kistner's team um, for the DPW, they collected so much data on our water system. Lisa Mayer pulled together economics, working with Suez, um, our legal counsel and our financial experts all were really tremendous in making the RFBs even be able to go out that we could um, you know, have this opening tomorrow. And, um, you know, we'll see what we get. Um, I want to remind the public that, as I'd said in our fourth water meeting, there really will be a period of quiet um, as far as information from our team, because it's not just a single price. There's a bunch of requirements that need to be assured that they've met. So we'll be looking at those contracts in detail. And then, um, you know, depending on what comes in, we'll see who the appropriate uh, highest responsible bidder if, if there is indeed one. Um, so I wanted to just let everybody know that's uh, what's going on in water. What time tomorrow are they coming in? What time is the deadline? One, I think it's 1 p.m. One, okay. And then, <laughs> 10. Okay. All right. Ah. Well, great. I had my calendar up. Sorry. And okay, so it is. Be there. It's now 7:59. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to request a motion to adjourn the work session. So moved. So moved. Thank you, um, uh, Councilman O'Toole. Council uh, second, Amy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. Uh, great. Everyone, stay put. We'll wait a minute and then we'll uh, come back for the regular session. Good, thank you, Michelle. The time is now eight o'clock. This is the May 27th, 2021 regular session of the Allendale Mayor and Council. Welcome to everyone who's joining us via video and teleconference. I ask at this time to for the public to please mute your devices so as not to distract from the business of the meeting. There'll be two more opportunities during this meeting for the public to speak and we will advise you at the appropriate times. 
Uh, Michelle, please um, read the Open Public Meetings Act announcement. Sure. In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, the notice requirements have been satisfied. The meeting dates for the year are confirmed at the annual meeting, are posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building, and on the borough website, published in the record within the first 10 days of the new year, and copies are sent to the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger. Great. So now um, we're going to rise to salute the flag. And as I mentioned in the work session, um, once we're done saluting the flag, I would please uh, join me in a moment of silence to honor the memory of those who have fallen in military service uh, to in the United States. Thank you, everyone. Michelle, please conduct the roll call. Uh, Councilwoman Homan? Here. Councilman O'Connell? Here. Councilman O'Toole? Here. Councilman Sasso? Here. Councilman Strouch? Is absent. Councilwoman Wilsinski? Here. And Mayor Bernstein. Here, thank you very much. So next is the approval of the minutes. So I'm going to um, request a motion to approve the minutes of the following meetings. February 11th, 2021 work session meeting as amended that I discussed in the work session. February 11th, 2021 regular session meeting. February 11th, 2021 closed session, although they're not for release at this time. Um, the March 3, 2021 special session Councilman O'Toole and O'Connell will need to abstain Correct. for that. March 11, 2021 work session and March 11, 2021 regular session. So I re would request a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. So moved. Thank, you. Thank you, Matt. Okay. And Amy, uh, on the second, um, Michelle, please conduct the roll call. Councilwoman Homan? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Abstain on March 3rd, yes to the rest. Thank you. Um, Councilman O'Toole? Yes, and abstain on March 3rd. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Uh, Councilman Strouch is absent. Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. Great, thank you. Um, so now, public comment on agenda items only. So is there anyone who wishes to be heard on items that are on the agenda? Uh, Mr. Mayor Bernstein, uh, hi, it's Natalie from 16 Heights again. Hi, Natalie. Hi, did you mention, I just lost my the agenda, I'm sorry. Did you mention that you were going to be discussing dispensaries? No. Okay, never mind. thank you. Thank you, that's okay. Um, uh, now, uh, ordinance for second reading and public hearing, um, ordinance 21-08. Uh, um, Michelle, please read the title of ordinance 21-08. Sure. The following ordinance published herewith was first read by title only on April 29, 2021 and posted on the bulletin board of the lobby of the municipal building and borough website. It's ordinance 21-08. 
an ordinance by Borough of Allendale, Allendale in Bergen County, New Jersey, prohibiting the operation of any class of cannabis businesses within its geographical boundaries and amending section 270-26 M1 of the Allendale Municipal Code. Great. So now I will open the floor for public comment on ordinance-21-08. Not seeing anyone, I would, uh, or hearing anyone, I would request a council member to make a motion to move, to pass, and adopt on second and final reading, Ordinance 21-08, notice of same shall be published according to law. So moved, O'Connell. Thank you, Ed. Second? Okay. Second, Common. Okay, thank you, Liz. Um, Michelle, please conduct a roll call. Councilwoman Homan. Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch is absent. Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. Great, thank you. So um, the consent agenda, which I discussed in the work session, so uh, I will request a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Thank you, Matt. Second? Second O'Connell. Thank you, Ed. Um, Michelle, please conduct a roll call. Councilwoman Holman? Yes. Councilman O'Connell? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Sasso? Yes. Councilman Strouch is absent. Councilwoman Wilsinski? Yes. Okay. Um, any unfinished business? Any new business? Not seeing any mini reports. Councilwoman Wazinski, um, you're up if you're ready. Okay, sure. Um, at the last meeting, we talked about the 2.30 closing. Um, and thank you, Liz, for the kind words. Uh, you know, I mentioned and thanked everybody at the last meeting, so I won't get into all that. But, um, it, you know, it was a, a true team effort. Um, we actually were planning a, a little celebration at, at the 2.30 building, but the money, uh, even though it was wired, we didn't see it in the bank until Monday. So we just didn't feel like it was right to do. And I kept on having Lisa check and she's like, it's not there, it's not there. But <laughs> sure enough, it was there Monday morning when it was updated. Um, and as you may or might not know, it was very, very important that we had that closing at the time for two major reasons. One, it's gonna be paying off a note. So we wouldn't have to renew the note for another year, costing taxpayers another whole full year of interest. And also we're gonna use the pilot money for the budget to, to help with our uh, increase this year. So um, not really much time to rest because now we have to work on the closing of 220 West Crescent and that is the front building. Um, I was in the field today. There was, uh, we're, we're waiting for the county meeting and there was a discrepancy in one of the maps between the county and their, the surveyors. So thank you, Ron Kistner, for organizing last minute traffic detail. We actually, Ron and I were there and watched the gentleman, the surveyor in the, in the manhole and, and uh, confirmed that indeed the drainage pipe was the right side. So that was good news. So once the um, applicant goes to the county, we have 45 days and then we should close on the front building, 220, and that's where our new borough hall is gonna be as well as the 70 residential units. Um, they will probably be demoing first uh, uh, by the end of the summer, we're hoping. And then they'll start building uh, right after that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, exciting uh, times in, in Allendale. As um, everybody mentioned, Crestwood Lake will be opening on Saturday. Registration is strong. Um, we're gonna have a really great year. I can just feel it. Um, everybody's exciting. We, we do have some social distancing guidelines, but. Um, as Ari mentioned, there is going to be um, some lightening up throughout the year. Last year, the residents were amazing. They really worked together. Nobody complained. Um, our staff at Crestwood did a great job communicating to the residents, and we're going to actually uh, make sure that we're fully communicating again. So we're really looking forward to a, a great, great year. We have bands planned. We have a family night that we're going to be planning. Um, Richie and Ray, the crew of the DPW, worked really hard get, to get it up and uh, running. We actually had, then we had two Boy Scouts who did two projects for the lake this year, and they look super. One was to 
organized inside of our, our shed so we could put all the kayaks neatly in there. He built um, lots of shelves and great storage bins. And you know, another Boy Scout did um, some planters. We actually have a little picnic area that we rent out and he did really pretty planters um, that are gonna look be another nice addition to the lake. Um, I don't know if everybody saw, but our playground is done and we're very pleased with the way it came out. Um, the, the mulching, the rubber mulching around the playground actually was just installed today. So all the kitties in Allendale will be very happy. I have to say it does look super cool. And I did, I will admit, I did go down the slide so I could be the first one going down the slide and it's fun. <laughs> it's fast. You took a photo. You took a photo too. I oh. did it. I almost got yelled at by the, the construction guy started walking over. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> um, one thing I just wanted to, I felt uh, compelled to mention, we've had some um, unfortunate incidents of littering up at the lake. I truly don't believe that they're Allendale residents. What I think happened is I think that people discovered our little town gem during the pandemic and they have left quite a mess for our DPW, but our police are notified and they will be honest. And we do have a very hefty fine for littering. So if this, if it happens again, it actually literally happened four times last week. So we are really concerned about it and we will be monitoring that um, very, very, very closely because it is completely unacceptable. Amy, that is um, on for public safety on our meeting. For, uh, and it is. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. That's perfect for reminding me. Yes, we have it on the public safety meeting. I actually have pulled up the ordinance and I'll forward that to you, Ed, and um, also I'll let you know some things that we've done in the past to try to mitigate awesome. this. And then uh, I'll, I'll update you after our meeting on the first. Okay, great. Um, and lastly, uh, our 9-11 memorial, we are um, working really diligently to uh, try to get a, a great speaker. It is the 20 year anniversary. We've had great success with the paver program. So we um, have the opportunity for residents to purchase pavers. Uh, we've been approached by many residents who wanna be a part of our beautiful memorial. So we opened up our paver program to um, let any new residents uh, or people who didn't have the opportunity last time be a part of, of the uh, memorial. So I think it was perfect that it is the 20 year anniversary and we have quite a few so far. So if you are planning or if anybody would like to um, have their name on a paver, there is um, some uh, forms on our website. And I think that's it for me. Great. Thank, Thank you, everybody. I know you've been busy. Thank you for all that. Councilman O'Toole, you're, you're our last council member. I'm gonna make it quick. Uh, the Administration, Finance, and HR Committee has not had a meeting since our last council meeting uh, due to a lot of work obligations and other things. I've not been able to find time, but I will certainly have one before our next council meeting. Um, that being said, with the introduction of the budget behind us, it's taking a little bit of a breather, but that doesn't mean that the work stops all is well. Bills were paid and I kept on keeping spending down and uh, that's about it. No, you're doing a great job there. Thank you for that. Um, staff reports, Attorney Ray Wiss. Uh, very briefly, it, uh, this last meeting is a little bit of a, uh, a lull in the action. I feel it's both the uh, the calm after and the calm before the storm. As right. uh, Councilwoman Wilsinski mentioned, it's the uh, uh, after the uh, the closing on 2.30, and as Councilwoman Homan uh, uh, indicated, it's uh, immediately before the opening on the RFB. Right. Um, so I think we will have a, a very active period upcoming. So I will just say, uh, Wish everyone an enjoyable holiday weekend and hope the weather forecast is a little bit better than it seems to be right now. Right, yeah, thank you for that and to you as well. Michelle? Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, I know you spoke about it before, but I just wanted to thank John Gill um, for uh, attending the Shredding Day, which was right. uh, very successful. And, um, and also Tatiana for helping uh, to put together the mobile clerk's uh, office. Uh, we had about 15 residents that we helped, so yeah. it was worth it. Yeah, no, that was great. Yeah, it was a good day Yeah, for that you. was perfect. Um, fun? Everything's quiet. Everything's... <laughs> We're not buying that for a minute. <laughs> uh, Lissa, would you like to give a report? No? Okay. So, um, a public comment. We will open the floor to the public on any matter. So, I don't know um, anyone who wishes to be heard at this time. M Mr. O'Keefe, let's see if your if your microphone's working. Give us your name and your address. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you. 
Uh, you can call Borough Hall tomorrow, speak to M Michelle or Tatiana, if you ha and it, let them know what your comment was. And if it's a question that we can answer, we will answer. If it's a comment, we'll, we'll do what we can to help you address it. So um, I know you're trying. So thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you for, 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 for being here and for trying to participate. Anyone else from the public? Not Hi, it's, uh, Natalie from 16 Heights again. Um, I, I know that you have decided not to have a parade this Monday. Um, I know that other towns in the area are having parades. I'm wondering if, and I heard somebody note, mentioned July 4th, um, will there be uh, the activities um, commencing with holiday observers on July 4th like there was two years ago? So, so yeah, we have been discussing that, uh, and unfortunately we're further down the road July 4th than we were for this. Councilman um, O'Toole, who's a holiday observer, do you want to speak to that? We're going to do as much as we can to have to bring back what the holiday observers have always done. Um, there will be some necessary adjustments, but I think we're going to be pretty close to where everybody wants to be. Good, good. So, so it, it sounds like yeah, time is the the change and the the relaxation of the of the restrictions is going to work to our to our benefit for July 4th. So that, that's good news for sure. Yeah, that sounds great. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Wilczynski, uh, you mentioned something about the pavers. Where exactly yeah. can you find that on the website? The website's a little bit difficult to navigate. You know what? I'll send them to you because I just got your email. I'll send you the forms. Great. Yeah, Thank and you. we are getting a new website, by the way. So, <laughs> so uh, it'll be much easier, much more user-friendly. And, and Mayor Bernstein, what I was asking before about the dispensaries uh, related exactly to what you had mentioned afterwards with the ordinance. So um, thank you. I appreciate that. Good. That's my good. answer. That was the answer I was looking for. <laughs> good, good. No, I'm glad. And, and so I wasn't sure it, we, we, we used different verbiage, but I'm glad that it, it addressed your question. Thank and, you. Um, Mayor, ben? Can I just um, respond to um, Natalie? Sure. Natalie, um, I... I do see that um, I, I didn't receive those emails. Uh, my name was spelled wrong, but I did receive your uh, email just tonight. So I will respond tomorrow to you. Great. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Sorry about that. Thanks. Yeah, you also actually, Natalie, just while I'm looking at it now, too, you wrote allendale.gov. It's allendalenj.gov. Yes, which I changed. So yeah, I, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks. I just saw all that right. on a couple. Got um, it. Ben, ben did, did you want to yeah. be heard? Ben? Are they, are the holiday observers going to end up having the fireworks at Crestwood this year? Yes. I, I, you don't need to be a holiday observer. To, I, I even, even I can answer that one. that one. Even <laughs> I can answer that. Um, yes, because I've been part of the, those meetings. So, yes, um, the, the fireworks are on. And so the, the fireworks w will, will be there. We've had quite a few conversations and the fireworks were never not going to happen. Right. So some way, some shape, somehow, but now the relaxation certainly makes it um, uh, easier. We're, there's still in terms of which beach, how many people, et cetera, um, and the fact that other towns may not be, or not having them, Ridgewood, et cetera, might change the number um, of, of occupants, but the holiday observers will be selling their, their tickets. That's This is a big fundraiser for them, so everyone should should, don't, should support them. We don't sell tickets. We you distribute tickets distribute. and we ask for donations. Right. So strike what I said. Right. We don't sell tickets. No, but it's, it is your biggest fundraiser. It's it's our only fundraiser. Your only fundraiser. So support so support the holiday observers, support Allendale. And the residents always do. And right. Very appreciative. Very Thank good. You. Anyone else from the public wish to be heard at this time? Hey, Ben, I'm just going to encourage you to keep going on your, your scouting journey. So I, I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of what's been a great You're welcome. Great. So, thank you. So now I would request a motion to adjourn the regular session. So moved, O'Connell. Thank you, Ed. Second? Holman. Thank you, Liz. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you very, very much, everyone. Everyone have a great night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.